In this lesson, we're going to look at creating the Active Directory environment uh, that will host the Exchange 2010 Training Lab. So I'll log on to my server. That's just been built as a virtual machine. I'm using VirtualBox for this. Now, if the Server Manager console comes up automatically, uh, you can just ignore that, uh, just minimize it for now. All we want to do is promote this server to a all we want to do is promote this server to a domain controller. So to do that, all we have to do is uh, from run uh, run dialog box, run DC promo. Okay, once the Active Directory installation wizard starts up, uh, we'll just step through that. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we're going to create a new domain in a new forest to host exchange. And in this screen you're going to enter the fully qualified domain name or the DNS name of your new forest root domain. Um, so this can be a domain name that you own, um, that you might already own, a .com or a .net or something like that, uh, that you already own. Or you could use uh, a, a .local domain that you just make up or use one of the um, you know, example.com or example.org type domain names that are uh, reserved by you for use. But uh, if you can get your own domain name, that's probably the best thing um, for your training lab. So what I'm going to call mine is exchangebootcamp.local. I've also got to give it a short name or a NetBIOS name, uh, so we'll just call that Bootcamp in my case. Now Exchange Server 2010 only needs the forest functional level to be at least Windows Server 2003, um, but let's go ahead and turn that right up to Windows Server 2008 R2. Uh, just in case you want to use this environment just for your own Active Directory type training, you can um, take advantage then of all of the features of Server 2008 R2. The domain controller is going to install uh, the DNS server role as well and because it's the first domain controller it's also going to be a global catalog so those options are fine there we'll just click next again to continue. Uh, you may get a warning about DNS uh, delegation um, not able to be created that's fine it just means that uh, it couldn't connect uh, to any other uh, DNS servers to delegate that zone. These defaults here are fine. Um, there are best practices floating around about um, separating these out into different drives and various things like that, but you know, this is just a training lab. Uh, we'll keep it simple. And you'll just need to choose your restore mode administrator password. Um, once again, just pick something reasonably strong, but make sure you've written it down or, or you know what it is, because uh, you will, um, in some cases, need that restore mode password. Alright, so if you're happy with all of the settings that you've picked, and I am here, I've picked the uh, uh, domain name exchangebootcamp.local and the NetBIOS name which is bootcamp, set the functional levels to 2008R2, the default first site name is fine, it's going to install the DNS server role for me, uh, and everything else there looks fine, so we'll go ahead and click next, and the wizard is going to go ahead and install Active Directory Domain Services as well as uh, the DNS server role. And just so I don't have to sit here and watch it, uh, I always tick this box to reboot on completion. Uh, so it does that automatically and I can go away and do something else. Right after the server is rebooted, if you press Control Alt Delete, you can see now that you'll be logging on with the same administrator password as before, but you're now logging on to your newly created Active Directory domain. Uh, so the server is now a domain controller. You can go ahead and log on and continue on with the next lesson.